Welcome back to PowerPointers 201. Today, we're gonna to talk about how you can get paid literally when your bags are late. If you've traveled even a handful of times, you've probably faced that dreaded moment at baggage claim at least once. The bags from your flight start coming out and you wait and wait. The crowd thins and soon it's just you. And then it hits you. Your bags didn't come with you. Now, if your palms are sweaty and your heart is racing at just the thought of losing your bags, you're not alone. Nothing can mess up the start of a vacation like your bags being delayed. And sadly, this is not as rare as you might think it would be. In fact, over the first three months of 2022, airlines checked over 100 million bags and lost nearly 700,000 of them. That translates to roughly one out of every 154 checked bags. But fortunately, there may be a way to get paid when your bags don't arrive. In some cases, if they're as little as 20 minutes late. So here's what you need to know to ensure this inconvenience has minimal impact on your trip and your wallet. First, as soon as it becomes clear that your bags are delayed, immediately go to the airline's baggage office and file a claim. Produce the bag claim receipt that you should always save until you make sure your bags have actually in fact come with you. And make sure you provide all other identifying information like the size of the bag, the color, and any other identifying information it might have. Then ask the agent for the airline's policy regarding reimbursement for delayed baggage. May be good to have the claim up on your phone just in case a misinformed agent tries to tell you it's zero. Delta, for example, uses $50 per day for five days as its threshold for reasonable expenses, while American and United don't publish an official policy, but $50 per day is probably a good threshold to aim for. Once you've completed your lost baggage report, you'll receive a file reference number. Do not lose this. You will need this not just for tracking the status of your report, but also for filing a claim afterwards for reimbursement. From there, it's time to start your trip as best as you can. Pick up any essential items you need and save your receipts. You may even want to snap a picture of them to make sure that you have that information in case the paper copy gets lost later. You're going to need all of this information to submit your claim for reimbursement. And don't go on a shopping spree. This is not carte blanche to buy anything and everything that you want. These are essentials, toiletries, a change of clothes, anything else you need to get you through the delay. Ideally, you'll be reunited with your bag within a day or two, and then it's time to start the claim process to get the cash back in your pocket for those essential purchases. And I cannot stress this enough, this is different than the process of the initial report you filed with the delayed baggage. While it would be nice, an airline's not gonna automatically cut you a check. In addition, you'll need a bunch of information to submit your claim. This includes your contact information, but it also includes your booking details, including your booking reference number, as well as your 13-digit ticket number. You'll also need that file reference number from the initial report you filed and scans of all of the expenses for which you want to be reimbursed. Don't wait to do this. Airlines have different policies for the timeline for seeking reimbursement. With United, for example, you have 45 days, whereas American only gives you 30 days. However, let's say the airline denies some or all of your claims for expenses. Fortunately, there is another way to seek reimbursement, and that is from your credit card company. Some popular travel credit cards provide delayed baggage reimbursement that can have higher limits than some airline policies. While this is secondary coverage, meaning that it won't kick in until after the airline has already paid whatever they're going to pay, it can provide a nice supplement if you already max out those policies. For example, the Chase Sapphire Preferred card provides $100 in reimbursement per day for up to five days when your bag is delayed by just six hours, as long as you paid for the ticket with your card. Once again, there's a formal claim process you'll need to follow and be prepared to provide a ton of documentation, including details from that report you filed initially with the airline. Finally, there are two US airlines, Delta and Alaska, that allow you to submit a claim to get bonus miles if your bags are delayed by, wait for it, 20 minutes. Yep, that's right. If you're flying Delta or Alaska 
and your check bags don't arrive at baggage claim within 20 minutes of your plane parking at the gate, you can submit a claim to get 2,500 miles per bag. The best thing about these policies is that there's no formal documentation required. For Delta, simply go to delta.com slash bags on time and submit your information within three days of your flight's arrival. For Alaska, you'll need to see a customer service agent at the airport within two hours of your arrival, but you'll be given the choice between 2,500 bonus miles or a $25 future flight credit. No one wants their check baggage to be delayed, but it's an unfortunate reality that airlines do mishandle luggage. Fortunately, there are ways to get paid in cash, in miles, or both, depending on the airline and your flight. So hope for the best and prepare for the worst. And remember that reimbursement may be in the bag if your luggage is late. I'm Nick Ewan and this was PowerPointers. We'll be releasing new episodes regularly, so click subscribe below to be notified each time a new episode launches. Till next time.